Okay, uh, welcome to the what we learned, or the recap of our Quest for Glory 3 walkthrough, slash playthrough, slash let's play. Um, I guess at the end of uh, most kids' shows and such, I always remember there was sort of a what's we're, what we learned, a uh, very special moment, so I guess this is uh, the equivalent for this first let's play that I did. Um, as I mentioned in my final video for the actual game, I really did enjoy doing this. I know um, some people don't like the commentary, and I've mentioned that a few times. Uh, the reason I do it is just um, I enjoy it. I actually found it pretty fun to be able to talk for 10 minutes about something I'm kind of knowledgeable about. And also, I personally enjoy hearing the commentary on a lot of the videos and the Let's Plays. Um, I guess just because I'm a nerd, and I, I assume that a lot of viewers are as well, that they just... Uh, find some of it interesting. I apologize if I was a bit rambling um, and uh, didn't necessarily do it quite as cleanly as maybe some other people did, but uh, hopefully some people enjoy it at least. Uh, just want to talk a little bit about the Quest for Glory 3 game. I mentioned that it's not the best one in the series, and the reason I've mentioned it a few times, but it's just a, a very linear plot. It's pretty much just connect all the dots, let um, every action sort of occur in the game, and then move on to the next step. There is room for exploring and such, but there's just not that much to do. I think if you play it through the first couple times, you've got, you have um, an opportunity that, that seems like it's more expansive, but I think um, uh, for all the things that you do explore and have the potential to explore, it is pretty disappointing at the end. Uh, I really actually thought the Paladin quest was more interesting than it was. You really don't hear too much about it. I may have skipped some of the dialogue with Rakesh or others, so that may have played some of a role, but really, it just doesn't come up that much. Uh, I regret not getting the Honor Shield. Um, like I said, uh, it's one of the four powers that the Paladin can have. I think it's not until the fifth game that there's a lot more introduced. And um, I actually am going to talk about the fifth game in a second, but I just want to talk about some of the technical aspects of making this. Uh, the Let's Plays are uh, hard to make than uh, I assumed. It You have to think fairly quickly about certain things. It's easy to get twisted up. I know some people go back and edit and add um, more jokes or clean things up a little. I just don't have the technological ability to do so. I think it, it would take more time to get the videos up and the like. So and I think it's a little bit more... Um, Genuine and maybe a little more interesting if it's just the ad lib commentary as it, as it comes as the uh, game progresses. So uh, I enjoy that. I hopefully that wasn't too much of a problem. And um, I think overall it went pretty well. Cam Studio seems to work pretty well along with DOSBox. I'd uh, suggest going to Late Blight. Um, a video on how to make a Let's Play work pretty well. The only thing I couldn't get to work too well, I think it's more of just a hardware issue on my side, is um, getting the sound to play simultaneously while recording a commentary on a microphone. And um, part of that's probably just because, at least, like I said, on my end, the hardware, the speakers have to be up quite loud. That may be the case on, on any system, and it's just depending on where you live or um, what you can tolerate while doing the Let's Play. Uh, I, I personally don't need the music that much. I noticed a few times that it seemed a little dead, a little slow, uh, not having too much in the background. But if uh, the VGA games are a little different in that there is um, a little bit more to the music and a little more to the sound than some of the EGA games uh, from Sierra where it wasn't quite as important. Uh, as for Quest for Glory 5, which I mentioned, I probably will not do that anytime soon. I'd actually, I'm not opposed to it. I, the Quest for Glory 5, for those of you who don't know, is kind of different. It was actually um, encouraged by a lot of fans who convinced Sierra that they could actually have a pretty marketable title, but Sierra knew that the adventure game genre was kind of um, not quite as uh, um, economically advantageous, financially advantageous as it had been in the past, uh, especially with the console systems um, playing such a big role. So um, they wanted to make it more of an action-oriented game. It definitely is more of, more of that. Uh, particularly if you do play as a paladin or a fighter, um, there's a lot more battles. And so uh, some of that doesn't lend itself as much to Let's Play because so much of it is fighting. Um, but there is the adventure aspect. It, it wasn't the best game, it wasn't the worst game. I do think it's actually better than this game, but it's a different type of game. Um, the, one, the reason I'm somewhat hesitant to do so is I don't actually believe it's a DOS game. I believe it was a Windows 95 game. It came out much later than um, some of the other games in the series. 
and it was originally not going to be made. As I mentioned, the fans convinced Sierra that that would work, and I don't think it actually panned out that well, which is part of the reason we haven't seen a Quest for Glory 6. Also, they discontinued all the whole line, I think it was called Yosemite uh, Studios or something, that produced all these so-called Quest games, Space Quest, King's Quest, etc. And um, in any event, um, it just, um, because it's not in DOS, it um, require me. I think you have to play it full screen too, and I don't think Cam Studio works that well that way. So I might have to. I would have to find a different method for recording the game. I think. I think it presents some new technological problems. Also, um, the dialogue does play a larger role. I think uh, there's only one version, and it has talking characters. So I would have to find out a way also to make sure the sound came through. And probably because I don't do the voices, would probably have to. Um, uh, rely on that as well. I think it'd make it a longer series. Also, I only played it through once. I had, mine was a little buggy, um, and I I don't know. I was a little older, too, when I got it. I think I was in college or just out of high school, uh, which is a little while ago for me, but still, I was fair, fairly older for um, a game, or at least advent, an adventure gamer. And so I only really played it once through as a paladin, so it'd be somewhat of a blind um, play, uh, let's play, which doesn't always work that well. Um, and I probably didn't touch on all the interesting things, so I don't know if I have as much interesting insight, assuming you considered my insight on Quest for Glory 3 all that interesting, uh, for Quest for Glory 5. So overall, I think it'd be a more ambitious project. Um, not one I'm opposed to. I know there isn't really any commentary-based uh, Dragonfire Quest for Glory 5 um, uh, Let's Plays, at least that I know of out there. Um, it, uh, I forget the name of the guy. I apologize. I actually just visited him site, and he was kind enough to subscribe to me. I think it's Classic uh, Adventure Games. Uh, he's on my um, uh, profile page um, as a subscriber. I definitely check him out. He has done all the Quest for Glory games, which is pretty neat. And uh, but he does it without commentary during the game. I think if there's some versions where he has some text commentary, but he also has a blog where he goes through everything and has commentary outside of that. So it's pretty interesting. Um, if you have the time to watch all five, um, but he does have uh, the fifth game up there. Um, anyway, so if it becomes more technologically feasible, if I have the time, I definitely would look into doing a Quest for Glory 5 version of this. Um, also, I'm always open to suggestions if there's ways I could improve it if you felt uh, this was a little too boring, a little too dry. Um, but hopefully it didn't work out too poorly, particularly for people who are really fans of the series, and hopefully more people will check it out over time. Um, I do want to do some more Let's Plays, though. I think I would turn to some other... I'd turn away from Quest for Glory, just because 1, uh, 2, and 4 have been done, and I think 4 may have only been once, but just so masterfully by Late Blade. I think it's a really great... Um, uh, really great Let's Play, probably one of the best I've seen. Uh, I would certainly be honored if uh, my Quest for Glory 3 sort of fit into their canon of uh, Late Blade and her crabbiness. Obviously, it's not, not anywhere near the quality, but... They don't want to do the third one. I think it's only um, one out there that has audio commentary, so maybe I'll find a place there. Um, but they definitely did one, two, and four uh, pretty well. I'm going to probably turn to some of the older ones. Probably want some of them in CR games that have been a bit more neglected. I've got a f couple of games in mind. I think one I'm definitely going to do, but I'm, I'll leave that as a bit of a surprise, um, assuming nobody hears this before I get the next one up, which might be a little bit time since I have a couple things to take care of in, the, I guess, the real world for the time being, but um, I also have another non-Sierra game I might uh, check out, um, kind of because it's just it's actually sort of poorly made, or uh, not, not the best game, so maybe have a chance to make a little bit of fun of a game, too, while playing it, but we will um, we'll see about that. Anyway, like I said, I really enjoyed play, uh, playing this, so I uh, look forward to any feedback, and... Um, I do hope you enjoyed this. Um, it is a little harder than it looks, but um, certainly not nothing impossible. And certainly if I was more talented, um, I probably could have made it a little bit better. But um, I definitely encourage you to check out any other Let's Play Quest for Glories. And um, I hope um, people did enjoy this. And I also definitely hope to be back with some other Sierra game and maybe even non-Sierra game Let's Plays. And um, I just hope... Uh, uh, this was enjoyable to everyone, so take care for now, and hopefully I'll be back with a new Let's Play series um, in a short while. Take care.